Hey team, welcome back to my channel. So for this week I wanted to do another unboxing video, but this week is going to be a technology boxing video, which I haven't done I think in about a year. So, I wanted to do this video because when I heard that I was getting this, I was so excited. And even though I'm kind of late to the party, it was still exciting for me to kind of play in this video, I guess. So without further ado, let's unbox what we're unboxing. Uh, we are unboxing the magical iPhone 10 or iPhone X, if you're someone who does that. This is the box, uh, and it is truly amazing, and Apple style just slides right out. And in the box, the first thing that you would normally see um, when you unbox it is, uh, is the phone. It would be kind of like this. Um, this is my phone, but it says designed by Apple in California and you open it and you get the classic, um, packaging by Apple. It says, hello, and you get the kind of user information and the pamphlets on all the new different things. There are some new things with the, and you get stickers, which are in, uh, which are not tiny. They used to be really tiny, and I used to put them on my phone, but these are not going to fit. But I love Apple stickers regardless, they're my favorite thing. Now, what I learned is that there are a lot of new different features on the iPhone 10, um, which I will be getting into in a little bit. Let's get the stickers back. So inside the box, you do get the standard um, wall adapter and plug. You do get the headphones um, that come like this, and it has the volume up and down. And you also do get the different cable, that um, the connecting cable, so you can plug your headphones into your phone. It's this thing. Um, you do get another one of those. I still have my old one. I also still have my own charger. So these are going to be more backup. And you also get a lightning cable that comes in the box as well. So these are all just going to be a little extra in case, like, I can't find mine or it kind of just runs its course naturally. So that's what comes in the box. So... Getting into the new features of the iPhone, uh, one of the main things is the look of the phone itself. It does not have any uh, home button to wake it up. You just tap it, and then it registers your face. You set up the face thing, and this little lock at the top uh, will unlock like that, and you just swipe up. So, um, I have a lot of stuff on my cell phone. Now, to get to the volume control, you swipe this corner down, and that comes up, and then you just swipe up to release it. And to get rid of apps, you go up and over, and it, like, if I open Twitter, for example, then close it out, which you just swipe up, you go up and over, and it brings it up, and then you just hold on it, and swipe up, and it gets rid of it. Some other new features is the Face ID, the Home button, the Ring to Silent switch, and the Tap Anywhere to Wake Up and the 3D Touch. Uh, to access many shortcuts and content by pressing the screen with 3D Touch. The other thing is the side button right here now does different things. It press and hold to activate Siri instead of the home button. You press once to save or twice to activate Apple Pay. Now, a new also feature is the power off. Um, you have to press and hold the side button and either the volume. You press and hold the sign button and either volume button to turn off phone or make an emergency phone call. Now, this one is also adaptive to wireless charging. It says, with the screen facing up, place the iPhone on compatible wireless charger to charge. Or, you can use the standard lightning cable, which I have definitely um, opted for, just 
because it makes um, the most sense to me to do that. Um, now, that's the unboxing part. Uh, let's get into how I actually like the product. So, everything is back in its lovely box. So, this is my phone. As you can see, I have my lizard as my background, so I'm going to let the my face charger open. I'm going to swipe. So things are still the same. If you swipe to the left, it still brings up all the current things and stocks, and you can um, definitely adjust that. I really like it. I have my pop socket on it so I can hold it and it doesn't fall. It is a little bit taller than the iPhone 7, which is what I had, and I feel like it's a little bit wider. Now, um, I actually really like the, you know, home button, because my home button, I don't know about you guys, until they developed a home button on the iPhone 7 where it didn't indent, because the iPhone 7 had the home button, but it was the thumbprint, it was like the fingerprint only, it didn't actually indent, it was just given the haptics to make it feel like it was indenting. Um, my home button used to get stuck all the time on my old phone. And I like now that you just go like that and it wakes it up and you can 3D tap anywhere and get to, um, if you tap this way, you get to the camera. If you tap this way, it does nothing. And then you can also just swipe up and you can swipe up and it'll bring you to a passcode screen. So if you want to do the passcode, you still can. Um, I prefer the face ID is just quicker. Um, what is also new about the phone, which isn't so new, but it was on the iPhone 7 Plus, but not the 7, is when you go to photo, it has the portrait, and it has all these different portrait things you can do. You can do studio light, contour light, stage light, and stage light mono, which just turns everything to black and white, and you can just do natural light. I really love the studio light. It just makes everything really clear. Let me take a photo of you guys. See, it makes everything super clear and blurs out the background, which is really awesome. Um, this is another photo I took of um, some deer. That was really cool. So I really like that. I like that they upped the camera. Another new thing is that the camera is not horizontal. It is vertical up and down. And there is one, two, three. There are two cameras and a flash. And on this side, there is one camera. So the back side is always going to take the better photos. So I really like it. Some new things that I have is like the whole like Microsoft stuff, numbers, pages, GarageBand, iMovie, iTunes, U, and Keynote as well as clips. Uh, some of my favorite apps for this phone have definitely been, um, I love reading on it now because it's longer and it fills up the whole thing. Let me show you. I'm gonna open my Kindle app. And I'm currently reading the book uh, Demon Class and it fills up the entire screen. Um, and I just love it. Like, I just, I love it. So that's really cool. Um, and there's just a lot of cool features to it um, that I like. The sounds are different. The so the only thing that I kind of don't like, and I get it because the cameras come down in the front, is where the battery is. You don't have the battery percentage. But if you swipe down and bring your control center, it does show you the battery percentage on it. So you just kind of got to swipe down a little bit, and it'll uh, tell you what the battery percentage is. So, yeah, and the, the clock is much smaller. It's all the way up in that little teeny tiny corner right there. But other than that, I actually really, really love this phone. I have the OtterBox commuter on it, which I would not trust my phone with any other box. That is my kind of iPhone 7 unboxing and review. I hope you like this video. If you give it a big thumbs up. I make videos every week on anything and everything. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you. You guys are amazing. If you'd like to become a part of this weird family that we have, subscribe. And you'll see me next time. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great week. Bye. Also, Merry Christmas, because that's coming up in like three days. Is it Thursday? Three days. So, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.